Hello guys, what's going on? It's Lemmy King here and welcome back for another Loot Crate unboxing video for July of 2016 and this month's theme is Futuristic. So if you haven't checked out any of my Loot Crate unboxings or if you haven't checked out any unboxings in general, you can go to the playlist in my, on my page and that playlist will take you to all the unboxing videos which include Loot Crate unboxings and Jinx unboxings and gear unboxings and all kinds of cool stuff that you guys can go and check out and see if you want to get them for yourself. But the sad part about today is, well, two things. One, if I'm not looking great, because I mean, that's probably... I'm not feeling that great either, so <clears throat> if I lose my voice or anything, yeah, we got a problem. But yeah, I was not feeling great yesterday, so hopefully I have enough of energy to do this 15 to 20 minute video. The other sad news is this will be the last Loot Crate unboxing for a while on my channel, because next month I do go off to college and I will not be getting any more Loot Crates, I ended all my subscriptions. So it's going to be a sad time, but hopefully this last Loot Crate will be a memorable one and we can... Uh, Go from there. So without further ado, let us hop into this one's loot crate. This is that right? This is a pretty big box. Where's the opening of the box? Here. Why the opening is on the bottom? I don't know. Where's the knife? The knife. Yeah. Okay then. So this is a weird unfolding. Instructions located in the magazine. Oh, the mother of. This is an interesting futuristic right here. This is a uh, fancy things unfolding in different directions here. I don't know. But as always with the uh, the loop rates, they always come with a t-shirt starting January of 2016, which I started getting them. So they always come with a t-shirt. So if you're interested, this t-shirt is matching the futuristic theme. I have no idea. Oh, it's Rick and Morty. That's a lot of That's what this month's t-shirt looks like matching the theme for the futuristic month of July, so I'll just leave that there for now. And the next thing in the crate is a Mega Man helmet for figurine. Oh, okay. These aren't like helmets. Like I have one helmet up there that's from Mega Man. This is like an actual kind of like pop figurine. It's like a mini series. So let's see. There's a bunch of different options we can have and it's probably hard to see, but there's a couple different options we have in here. One of twenty. One of twenty. Two of twenty. Two of twenty. Two of twenty. Mystery out of mystery. It's mystery ones in the truth. Oh, this is also made sure it's secure. I use this knife a lot today. Okay, open the thing. So it'll match the. Okay, this is not coming off as easy as I thought it would. There we go. And again with the pop figurines. Who knows what's going to be inside? Who knows? Okay, this is not what I think. Scissors, man. Okay, cut it off so that they're careful. They're really securing their items in this month's crate. They're making a futuristic style of. I think in the future they would make it easier to unbox these things, but apparently not. We got a nice little action figure right here. Which one is he? He's number. One of twenty, like the first one on the one side here. And he's a cool little guy. Okay. Look at that little guy. He's gonna go up there on the uh, on the stand as well. And the next thing we have in here is this big box. It's a mini masters from Kingdom of the X. One of them, I don't know. It's a Planet Express ship from Futurama. This seems pretty cool. Look at ooh, it's like a little model spaceship from the thing. It comes with oh you gotta build it all oh, Jesus. I gotta build things again. That's what I thought with the Mega Man helmet I was up there and I can't I physically can't get the helmet to stay on the stand. It just won't do it. Here's a little spaceship. I'm still a child at heart, it's okay. It's wrong. Okay, so how does this thing... This part goes into here, I imagine. And then this... Oh, 
it's like a magnet. Well, that makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? It's a little magnet that just sits on it like that. Look at that, beautiful. That makes things a little Look right, you're, you're doing good. You're doing a good job, Joe. That one, could not get that to work. This one, it's a lot easier. Next thing is a Star Trek The Next Generation. I don't know what this is, but it's just like... Again, have to use... Oh, wait, there's a tear thing. They're evolving here. We have tears. Look at this. Beautiful. Got a mount. The trash will be... What is this? From the USS Enterprise. Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry. Oh, it's like a registry thing. I don't know if it's up there. It's a magnet. It's like a sticker type of thing. So this is what it looks like here. It's going to be glary, but I'm sorry. But it basically just says USS Enter Enterprise, class Galaxy Class Starfleet Registry, and WC 1701B, Utopia, Planetia, Fleet, Mars, and then it has the engineering groups and the technology groups and all that stuff. So it's basically like a, uh, a pass. Yeah, so I don't know, it looks like it's a sticker. Because when you fold this back piece off, it's like a sticky, like, foil. So I don't know, I'm just going to leave it here for now until I figure out what it actually is when I open up things. Um, this is, might be a comic series from 4001 AD. So that's what it looks like the book, so I'm assuming it's a comic series. This is weird. Like, what's, what's going on here? I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, it is a comic series, okay. It's a, it's a comic book. It'd be fun to read, to read this. I have no idea what it's from, but it's obviously from uh, 4001 AD, number one. The uh, Loot Crate is a premier mystery subscription box. Of course, there's Loot Crate advertising on the back, but you know. Oh, there goes the ship. It fell off its, its supports. Get back on there. Magnet. There you go. And the last thing before the. What the? Star Trek. Star Trek Online. Last thing before the futuristic magazine is the Loot Crate pin for this month. Which will have to go up there because I don't have any more compartments. But we'll find a place to so That's what the Loot Crate pin looks like this year, or this month. It's the uh, Star Trek thing. It's the theme. So, that's cool. And obviously, when you get Loot Crate pins, it unlocks like magazines or books or something online that you can go and look at. So, from futuristic, this box. Oh my! Okay, this is okay. We'll do this at the end because this is a complicated thing. Who's of making Rick and Morty T from Loot Crate Labs? And it goes through Rick and Morty stuff. There's amazing here. There is the Futurama spaceship and the uh, Star Trek dedication plaque decal. Oh, okay, so it's repositional, so that's perfect. I can put it wherever I want, and then if I need to change it, I can change it. Oh, look at this, is perfect. But it says, no, this will not actually turn your things into the Enterprise. And it comes with the pin, and the Halo Legendary Crate, and like a little coloring page, and the Crate Anime. The exclusive, uh, Mega Man stuff. I got the, I don't know if that's, that's orange, I think, but the red one, there was a red one here. And the uh, Valiant Comics comic book. And the comics, and level up. And that looks like it's about it. So let's look at this uh, thing here, because it looks like a complicated process to go through. But hopefully it does not end up as complicated as it looks like it's going to be. So. Unfold the box. Let's unfold this box. Alright, so then we need to
did it right. Looks like it's. A landing pad type thing scenario here with the city in the back, so obviously I'm gonna need some tape to try and get all this stuff stay together. But that's it for this episode, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated. And comment down below if you have any future ideas for future series. Like I said, this will be the last loot crate video that I do on my channel for a while because I am going off to college, so it's going to suck, but I don't really have a choice. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little crazy series for the six months that I went on for since January and now it's July. But hopefully we can regain this in the future once college is over and done with the expenses. Yep, but comment down below any ideas you have for future videos and I think that's it. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see all of you guys. Are you